Hi everyone, Gaiman here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over Battlefront 2 made by EA in 2017. This does not include the campaign, that will be next video. And this is Is It Worth Buying episode. So, let's get into it. Battlefront 2 has three sections of game modes. Multiplayer, co-op mi co missions and single player. Single player has the campaign and instant action. Instant action is a game mode that you can build. You can choose what map, the level of AI, how many AI you actually want, the classes you want, and the damage you want to do. Court missions is where you can choose the error and fight against AI. Your teammates, however, will be actual players, and the AI can choose heroes or villains, so be careful. Multiplayer is self-explanatory. It's, it's any Call of Duty co-op game mode, such as Galactic Assault, Heroes vs. Villains, the list goes on. When you load into the game, you'll be able to choose which class you want to be. Assault is a basic soldier with an AR, Heavy is a soldier with a minigun, Officer is a soldier with a pistol, and Specialist is a soldier with a sniper. As you play the game, you will earn points to buy villains or heroes, depends which side you're on. These include Anakin, Obi-Wan, Darth Vader, Palpatine, the list goes on. Throughout, the, throughout playing the game, you will unlock weapons for each class. For the Assault class, you can unlock E11D, CR2, the A280. For the Heavy class, you can unlock the DC15LE, TL50, T21. For the Officer, you can unlock the S5, SE44C, DL18 and for the specialist class you can unlock the A A280 CFE NT242 and the psycho rifle from the from EA's interpretation of Battlefront 2 in 2015 no Battlefront 1 in 2015 as you while you're playing the game you realize you are leveling up your class the, the level coins can be spent on, car on star cards to make the class better. The more you level up, the more you can upgrade the star cards and get more, and to get and get more star cards as you play. Star cards will make your class better. The star cards that I have equipped, which are my favourite on the classic assault, is the marksman, the bounty hunter, and the toughen up. Now. The reason why you obviously clicked on this video, is it actually worth buying Battlefront 2 in 2022? In my opinion, it is worth buying, but luckily for Xbox Game Pass users, you will be able to get this game for free. Sorry for